Now, you didn't even tell me this, but I watched. I was paying attention. <laughs> and what I was doing was twitching that thing. So there's more to it than just throwing that cork out yeah, there. Yeah, you want to you want to make a lot of noise with these popping corks. They yeah. like that sound. Well, we, we'll, we'll talk about this in just a minute, but with fresh shrimp, popping cork, huh? I got to tell you, all-star rods, yeah, man. And, and I noticed the sensitivity, and this is that fast medium version, right. really gives you a good feel for these fish. Now let's see if this spot's got a, see if he's got a spot. Hmm. Oh, I think so. Okay. I think so. Yeah, man. I got him. And with that, now that one's just a little bit longer, folks. Yep. Beautiful, be beautiful, beautiful, blue tail, huh? <laughs> I'll get it out in a minute. All right, now. And see, these are, uh, these are those schooly redfish, and when you get on them, there's usually, they're usually stacked in these holes pretty good. Well, you know, Josh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. A lot of folks like, they always like to catch the biggest, the baddest, and they go home and look at that. You know, but I just love catching them, okay? Right. And, 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 you know, so many times we tell folks, look, when you go hire a guide, it's not about the biggest and the baddest. It's always about the amount of time that you're going to get to bend that rod and reel them in. Let me get out of the way, man. Get him over there where all the folks can see him. Yeah, there must be a pretty good school up there. Yeah. yeah these guys aren't real big, but they still put up but a they nice do. fight. Don't they do? They do. All right. That is what we came for. Mm hmm You know, and the good thing about it is the wind have a little bit of ripple, and it seems to help. Yep. But it's not dead calm either. So 